of 32. So let me suggest to you we look at it th this way instead. Think about rewriting 32 as 2 to a power. That's the easier way for me to do these anyway. What's 32? 32 is 2 to the fifth, okay? So, um, you know, I, w I would just, I would champion the formula log base A of A to the X is equal to X, right? So if you can rewrite the input to the logarithm as the base to a power, then it's easy to calculate, right? I mean, that's, that's essentially all you got to do. See, because log base 2 of 2 to the 5 is what? It's 5. And we could go back and do the other ones that way too, right? Like log base 2 of 1 is log base 2 of 2 to the 0, which is 0. I mean, this is a method you can use to directly calculate logarithms. The aggravating thing, of course, is that you actually have to do what? You have to be able to see that the number that you're given can be expressed as the base to a power, right? At least with our current technology, that's all we can do. Now, um, I, should, I suppose I should take a second here to contrast the exponential and the um, logarithmic form of some numbers. Ah, come on. Like here. So the textbook has like log base 10 of 100,000 is what? Well, I, I would point out that that's log base 10 of 10 to the 5, right? So that's equal to 5. This is, this is the logarithmic form. Logarithmic form. In, in contrast, the exponential form would be 10 to the 5 equals 100,000 exponential form. All right. Let's see here. So um, I think the, this, the properties of logarithms is helpful. These ones, we don't really have to want, we don't really want to think through these. If, these would be good to sort of memorize, just to have on tap. Um, so property one, log base A of one is what? Log base A of A is what? Log base A of A to the X is what? And, I mean, to me, three and four, in some sense, are really the definition of logarithm. But anyway. Actually, three and four are really, um, really important. We've already seen, um, I think, both of those in the examples I've given. Oh, I, did, I didn't get to log base two of two, did I? What would log base two of two be? So log base 2 of 2 equals to y if and only if y, if 2 to the y equals to 2. So y equals to what? He said 1? Right. Log base a of a is 1. Log base a of 1 is what? It's 0. All right. Log base A of A to the X is X, and this is also X. What's the difference between 3 and 4? Can you tell me? What are, the, what are the terms and conditions? Like, these are not the same X, actually. I mean, one of them, this is for any X in the reals. So this one, 3, 
is for any x in the real numbers. But the number 4, this is just for x in the positive reals. Right? Or in other words, for x greater than 0. That's, that's the condition put on this. Because we cannot take the log base A of x unless x is positive. So these are um, basic properties of logarithms and, and how you can calculate them, right? Um, there, there is like a log base 10 button on your calculator most likely. There's also, um, you know, I should mention the natural log. You know, it, we've been talking about, I talk about log base 2, log base 10. Um, sometimes computer science people like to talk about log base 2. Um, but uh, probably the most important for the natural sciences, I'll put it here, um, log base E of x is usually denoted ln of x in this course. This is the so-called natural logarithm or natural log. So like this one, the natural log of E is equal to 1, for example. All right. Now, most calculators have the natural log function and the log base 10 function somewhere pretty handy, like they're easy to find on the calculator. Um, so, uh, and it, it turns out that we can, we can take like log base 3 and convert it to log base, um, the, the natural log, there's a change of base formula. I'll talk about that some other day, but there's a way of converting like log base 2 or log base 3 problems to log base E problems. So if you can calculate the natural log, then you can calculate log base other stuff. In the time that remains though, let me just talk about the graph. So what was the graph look like? Can you tell me? So if the exponential looks like this, right? And let's focus on the a greater than 1 case, right? So if this is the graph of the function, right? What's the graph of the inverse function? What do we do? Shouldn't we just take a couple of representative points and flip them? So we know the y-intercept is 0, 1, right? We also know that we've got this point over here of like minus 1, um, 1 over a, right? And um, there's a point over here, which would be 1 comma a, right? And so if I draw in this line, y equals x, we know that the graph of the inverse function should be the reflection of the graph of the function over the line y equals x, right? So the point 1 over a minus 1 should flip to like this point down here, right? Um, this point would be uh, 1 over a minus 1, right? And the point 0, 1 flips to the point 1, 0, right? So it looks like the, the logarithm has an x-intercept at 1, and um, then a1 is like over here somewhere. And so the logarithm has a graph that looks something like this. So both the logarithm and the exponential functions, they're one-to-one -one functions, right? The inverse of the log is the exponential. The inverse of the exponential is the log. Now this picture would be different if the base was like less than 1, right? Honestly, I try not to think about bases being less than 1. Like I usually will work with bases larger than 1 just as a point of like, you know, what's comfortable. 
But if we were to look at bases less than one, the picture is a little bit different, not too different. Um, the exponential function looks like this, right? And so the logarithm, um, a little, little stranger, but uh, nothing we can't handle. The, 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 this point still goes to, still has that x-intercept of um, that and um, Let's see here if I can graph it worth anything. I think it has to go through here. Let's see here. Um, I think for a second. So this point should reflect to. I guess it must do something like this. Anyway, I would encourage you to try that on your graphing calculator to improve on my picture, and I'll shut up for today. Thanks, guys.